Right, fulfillment. All right, I've got, yes. I'm do you now. think it is important to do something you enjoy? No, because if you do that too much, then it could be bad for you. If you enjoy playing video games, have you ever heard the rumour that your, your pupils go square if you uh, watch too much TV and stuff? Yeah, that's actually not true. I know, but still, if something, if you, like, if you enjoy to, like, watch movies and you'll be watching movies all day, it's not good for your education. I mean, it's good for you to do a bit of what, like, you enjoy, but it's not good for you to do it, like, all day, because um, if your favourite thing is to play video games and you play video games too much, then you're going to get addicted to them and you're not going to be able to get off of them and you're not going to be very successful. So you have to limit the time that you go on like your laptop or something or you have to limit the time you do your favourite things because if you do them too much it can also be bad for you. It is actually important for you to enjoy them. Just, as you said, not to do them as much. But the thing is, if you became addicted to video games, yes, you might not become successful, but there's also the outcome that you might become a professional um, game player or whatever. And like, you might YouTube that, you might get money from YouTube and playing the games, you might live stream it, get it from Twitch, and there's just a lot of possibilities you can get. And also you might be, you might think something's important to you, like maybe doing something healthy, like um, a sport, and you might think doing that sport over and over again that's healthy for you just as long as you don't overdo yourself where your body just can't go on anymore but like there are some things that's like what if someone found like their favorite thing was drawing like drawing's not bad for you but it's not like super good for you either if and it's just draw, a normal thing uh, i'd say no because if you draw then you know there's sun, like you spend the whole day drawing it's nice and bright outside you stand like you sit by your desk and when it, the sun goes down, you don't even notice that because all you're doing is drawing and concentrating on your drawing. But what you need to do, you need to take some time to focus on other things. So you need to focus on, if you like drawing and you still want to do that, then you need to focus on like what time of the day it is and you're not drawing like all day and wasting time. Because eventually you're gonna carry on, you're gonna miss lunch, you're gonna miss breakfast and everything because you're just gonna wake up and go like, oh, I'm drawing. And then, Basically, you won't have any social time because you'll be doing is just looking down and putting your pen to the paper to draw. But also, you can like draw in different places. You can like set timers on what you're doing. You can like, there's different types of things. You can draw with other people where you're social while you're doing it. There are things where, if it's like your favorite thing, sometimes it's something like to, to socially. Sometimes it's like a team sport where like, you're going around with other people and it's just make sure like because you don't know if like the sun's about to explode so you may as well just do something fun with your life and like make sure you live your day to like the best you possibly can yes but if your favorite thing is like eating or something it you can get eating disorders and eat too much or not eat enough if you don't like that so basically you need to balance everything out so you need to balance your education your hobbies you need to balance what you eat because you can't just be eating sweet foods or just like be on a strict diet because did you know the research says that if you have too much of a strict diet um, your body um, builds up more fat in your body uh, in your in its body because it thinks that you're starving yourself the thing is you can like something and you can do it but it doesn't mean you have to do it every day but you can still possibly do it like if you liked eating sweet food like you could also find an alternative if like it's like you're getting too addictive like find an alternative that tastes like it but it's healthier and it's more better for your body and if you keep going on a strict diet if you're like just eating salad and salad and salad you could add things like meat to your salad which will give you protein or you could have things like pasta they'll give you carbohydrate so it's healthier for you and your mental health.